Before we start, get the star chart. Get the star chart. Navigate smart. Get the star chart. Get the star chart. It's science and art. Get the star chart. The Catholic Church is good. The Catholic Church is good. She's how we know we're leading Christian lives like we should. Food needs salt, eyes need light. While sailing on the sea, a ship needs her captain. Just the same, the Christian life it needs to thwart sin. The Catholic Church will lead and make it happen. Will lead us to a win. The Catholic Church is good, and the Catholic Church was first by the laying on of hands. Christ authority traversed through all time down the line. I will call you rock, and on this rock I build my church. Marks it of religion, trash opium, but Christ beget to Peter the keys to the kingdom, the keys to the kingdom. The Catholic Church is good, the Catholic Church is best. The church preserves the culture of the Occident. Greece to Rome to Washington, to those who say the secular can save a nation. We will say just how we got this culture from its nations. Two thousand years of Christianization, evangelization. The Catholic Church is good, the church she takes her stand, protecting life and marriage and the rights of the working man. The sacred path of our saints to follow Christ to follow is following Christ his commands. His command. Give water to the thirsty, visit those in jail. We educate the young and need to sign a mass of skills. So join us on this trail. The Visitors, having a culture of prophecy concerning the planet Earth, have spent decades monitoring our many broadcasts. We detect no malicious intent on their part, and they appear to have a peaceful nature. They are focused on various legends that foretell a great good happening to their society stemming from the inhabitants of the planet Earth. Our best sources indicate they are merely trying to gather information about this mystical refuge they seek. In their observations of us, the visitors noticed there were two great forces shaping our society over the last century. But from their listenings alone, they were unable to tell which of these forces would lead them to fulfillment of their metaphysical hunger. So a task force, headed by Captain Valacious Q. Hawkgirl, was sent to investigate. He, along with the crew of his ship, the Dacha Porch, traveled to Earth to collect artifact replicas that could be taken back and analyzed. The artifacts were scanned and carefully duplicated. They were stored according to protocol in the Proprietary Object Recombinant Keeper, or Pork Machine. The journey back went without incident until the approach to the home system. An unexpected series of solar flares caused the Dacha Porch to take evasive action. The ship and crew arrived safely. On inspection of the artifacts, however, it was found that the solar flares had affected the port machine's main storage mechanism. The old artifacts were gone, and new artifacts had formed in their place. Analysis showed they had somehow melded together in an irreversible fashion. It is not currently known if the newly formed objects can be used to unlock their prophecies hidden meaning. Grace to the new Eve, we all call her 
ever blessed Sinners everywhere send an SOS While he fell to Satan's advance To carry our Lord, Our Lady said yes Her heel crushed evil's head and now sin is suppressed Praise to the new Eve, we all call her blessed Lady donned in blue, wrapped in stars and sundress She called on Christ for she needed a Savior So from her conception, her amount of sin was none Cooperate with Christ and sinners will be one Praise to the new Eve, we all call her blessed Her part in the plan forced the dark to reassess We're proud to call her Mother Mary See how a humble virgin was raised to a great height Repent, get your life right and be part of the light Praise to the new Eve, we all call her blessed Known throughout the world and her name won't ever nest She points to Christ and reflects God's glory May we learn from her to know Christ and adore Church, we'd have no holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no holy Bible. The Catholic Church, under Christ through the apostles, the Catholic Church gave epistles and four gospels, sorting out so many scriptures. This could have been unclear, but the authoritative church is guided by the Holy Spirit. In the year of our Lord 382, the bishops met at the Council of Rome. Unity stood a thousand years when they commissioned Saint Jerome. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. The Bible's truth rests on early Catholic witness. The Church approves the Bible free of counterfeitness. Why is the Catholic Bible slightly more large? Cause the Bible was approved when the Church was in charge. It just makes sense. A collection of works needs curated to be handed down. Catholic Church consensus means that Christians make the good book world renowned. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. is expected with our first fruit and we're drawn. Go to the chair of Peter, our leader, the bishop of Rome. May our institution be a shield when we don't know whom to believe. Disinformation troops scattered archipelago. Look to the chair of Peter, our leader, the bishop of Rome. Unity's our mascot, it's built in our genome. While we'll need our trouble, something sweet as honeycomb. Look to the chair of Peter, our leader, the bishop of Rome. Much of life's in color, but this is monochrome. Always know your people and you'll always find your home 
go to the chair of Peter, our leader, the bishop of Rome. Go to the chair of Peter, our leader, the bishop of Rome. I am a priest. Religious or diocese, I administer the sacraments and pray for the deceased. I am a priest, the kingdom sees increase. Penitents who come to confession from their sins release. I'm called to be our Lord's mouthpiece, lead creeds, pass the peace. Join me at the table for the Eucharistic feast. of the world unite cut down the cages and fight we've been held here so long be of burden with the people wouldn't it be amazing if the beat will pop pause pop a beeper the kite and the crane create a full refrain and no more zoo Keepers. Like little yellow onions on a big red truck They know where they're going and know why they're dressing up Found themselves a driver, a paved road, and a goal And the best thing ever is the farmer already paid the toll Apathy out of place to hold back and forfeit the race A return to the old clearly against our higher nature Compare the crop to the lemur Our way can be play or steeper Remember where we're coming from Now no more zookeepers Like little yellow onions on a big red truck They know where they're going and know why they're dressing up Found themselves a driver, a paved road, and a goal And the best thing ever is the farmer already paid the toll 
little yellow onions. They're actually plants, but they set a good example, so that's where it's at. Little yellow onions on a big red truck. They know where they're going and know why they're dressing up. Found themselves a driver of paved road and a goal. And the best thing ever is the farmer already paid the toll. Sweet sack 
We already uploaded your waltz. Snuck it on, really. Let's just hope the first minister doesn't realize there's a joker in the deck when he reviews the log and finds out that- Was that that Mexican guy? Actually, the producer was Venezuelan. Really, Sub Commander, you shouldn't group all South and Central Americans together. It's- Where it goes, oom papa, oom papa, oom papa, oom papa, oom papa, oom papa. Doppy, this isn't a waltz. Do you hear it? It's very modern, probably in whole tone scale, relying heavily on major ninths and clearly in common time with- that big melody! We're gonna be in big trouble if we don't finish this plot point. In fact, if we don't get going, Captain Hogcurl could call an emergency narration at any time using the protocols established by the CHOP manual in section 2, paragraph 34, where it clearly states- Subcommander Doppy B. Trophy, first officer of the Dacha Porch, was tasked with attempting to sort the artifacts by recalibration. It was thought that this would make plain the truths they held and rescue the mission. There it goes. Oom pa pa, 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 oom pa The Catholic Church is good, the Catholic Church is good. She's how we know we're leading Christian lives like we should. Food needs salt, eyes need light While sailing on the sea a ship needs her captain Just the same the Christian life it needs to thwart in The Catholic Church will lead and make it happen Will lead us to a win Church preserves the culture of the ox 
president Greece to Rome to Washington To those who say the secular can save a nation We will say just how we got this culture from its nations Two thousand years of Christianization Evangelization The Catholic Church is good The Church, she takes her stand Protecting life and marriage And the rights of the working man The sacred path of our saints To follow Christ is following His commands Give water to the thirsty Visit those in jail We educate the yearning On a massive scale So join us on this trail priest, religious or diocese, I administer the sacraments and pray for the deceased. I am a priest, the kingdom sees increase, penitents who come to confession from their sins released. I'm called to be our Lord's mouthpiece, lead creeds past the feast, join me at the table for the Eucharistic feast. Be a shield 
when we don't know whom to believe Disinformation, truth scattered archipelago Look to the chair of Peter, our leader, the Bishop of Rome Unity's our mascot, it's built in our genome While we'll meet our troubles, something sweet as honeycomb Look to the chair of Peter, our leader, the Bishop of Rome Much of life's in color, but this is monochrome Always know your people and you'll always find your home Look to the chair of Peter, our leader, the Bishop of Rome Look to the chair of Peter, our leader, the Bishop of Rome. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. The Catholic Church, under Christ through the Apostles. The Catholic Church gave epistles and four Gospels. Sorting out so many scriptures, this could have been unclear. But the authoritative Church is guided by the Holy Spirit. In the year of our Lord, 382, the bishops met at the Council of Rome. Unity stood a thousand years when they commissioned Saint Jerome. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. On early Catholic witness, the Church approves the Bible free of counterfeitness. Why is the Catholic Bible slightly more large? Cause the Bible was approved when the Church was in charge. It just makes sense. A collection of works needs curated to be handed down. Catholic Church consensus means that Christians make the good book world renowned. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Without the Catholic Church, we'd have no Holy Bible. Raised to a great height Repent, get your life right And be part 
the Lord. Praise to the new Eve, we all call her blessed. suppressed runners run fighters fight train through many tries iron strikes iron sharp as though to get the prize if as before you stopped or slipped and fell let's be fed by what our lord said against my church the gates of hell will not prevail Shout hurrah Feel it as blood Rushing to each cell We shall not dread For our Lord said Against my church The gates of hell Will not prevail Against my church The gates of hell Will not prevail Though the recalibration effort went well and was lauded for clarifying many data points, the task force was unsuccessful in completely unlocking the keys to the prophecies of old. But one variable stood out among the others. Evidence of human thriving.
现在开始播报给四四九二点四Regardless of whether or not you personally are a Christian or come from a Christian background, it is in our cultural DNA. Uh, for example, what happens when you see a stranger on the street and they need help? You stop and help them. That's correct. That's, that's what you do in this culture that comes from the story of the Good Samaritan. Believe it or not, that's not true for all cultures, but that's the impact we've had by being evangelized for 2,000 years by Christianity. My first airport, I've got a stadium, I've got a seaport, I've got a fire station, I've got police, I chose coal over nuclear, I mixed roads and rail, I kept factories away from It's time for my first airport, my first airport, my first airport. We watched the planes take off my imaginary sibling and me. 
with robot passengers, but no one is around to see. But at least I got my first And this shall be, says the Lord, I will pour out from my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your youths shall see visions. And your elders shall dream dreams. And I will bestow wonders in heaven above, and signs on earth below. Hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene is a man confirmed by God. This man, under the definitive plan and foreknowledge of God, was delivered by the hands of the unjust and put to death. And he whom God has raised up from the dead has broken the sorrows of hell, for certainly it was impossible for him to be held by it. And though he has ascended to heaven, he did not leave us as orphans. He left us a great institution where he himself is present, in both authority and in the blessed sacrament and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now when they had heard these things, and on preponderance of the evidence provided by the task force, they were humbled and said, What should we do? Take away the sins of 